New at 5, IT Maid is learning new details tonight surrounding the deadly shooting last summer at Greenwood Park Mall. After nearly a year of trying, investigators confirmed they have finally unlocked the shooter's cell phone, giving a new view into what may have motivated him. Greenwood police on Thursday confirmed FBI investigators finally gained access to the phone. It had been tossed into a toilet just minutes before the suspect walked out of a mall restroom and opened fire, killing three people. Federal investigators found more than 3,400 images and more than 200 videos on the phone. Police say the images included pictures of Adolf Hitler, Nazi propaganda and guns. The videos, perhaps even more disturbing. Several of them were of previous mass killings, including graphic surveillance video of a 2016 shooting inside a mall in Burlington, Washington. We were unable to locate any comments made by the shooter on these subreddits that would indicate he was planning on carrying out such an attack. On the contrary, almost every post was more of a discussion or debate concerning other high-profile mass killings around the country. The shooter acknowledged several times in these comments that he studied and researched mass killings and serial killers. Police also found two notes inside the phone. One, a picture of a handwritten note from April 2020 that appears to be a suicide note. It starts with, my final thoughts on paper. The shooter refers to himself as a sociopath and writes, I want to hurt people, and blames it on mental instability, depression, frustration, and sexual isolation. A second note, a draft text intended for his brother included the phrase, I'm going to shoot myself, and was followed by an internet search, how to go through with committing suicide. It was dated one month before the mall shooting. Greenwood police say this evidence proves what they had said last year, that the gunman's homicidal thoughts had been growing for years. Nothing in the phone referenced a potential attack on the mall.